Good morning. I trust you're doing well. So I wasn't going to talk any more about faith today, but I came across something this morning that, well, spoke to me, and I thought I'd share that. It's, it's found in Isaiah chapter 7, and God says to Isaiah to go out and meet the king, King Ahaz, and say to him that, well, the thing he's worried about isn't going to happen. Uh, tell him to stop worrying is what he says. Tell him he doesn't need to fear the fierce, fierce anger uh, of, the, of another king. And he goes on down in that chapter and he says that the invasion will never happen. It will never take place. It's interesting because how many things do we worry about that, well, don't take place? Things that we get a lot of anxiety over that never happen. And so Isaiah is talking to the king on behalf of God and saying, listen, the thing you worry about, it's not there. Um, and he says that Israel is no stronger than its capital, Samaria. And Samaria is no stronger than the king. And then he says something that I think is extremely interesting. He says, unless your faith is firm... I can not make you stand firm. That's interesting because we often think that God is going to give us the faith for what we need in the days ahead or in the moment. But God says to the king, unless your faith is firm, I cannot make you stand firm. That's why it's so important to utilize the things that we have in our lives to build our faith, to recognize that the things in our lives that happen and take place can be catalysts for us to grow in faith and grow in perseverance and grow in the things of God. But God's not going to do it for you. You're going to have to do that yourself. He can't infuse you with faith. It's a choice you must make. It's a choice I have to make. And so I've thought about that. I've really thought about that because, well, that verse was surprising to me because sometimes I've thought if I just ask God for enough faith for something, I can get it. But I don't know if that's true. He says, I can't make you stand firm. You'll do that through your experiences as you've learned to trust in me. I think that's what he's saying. As you have put me to the test and found me faithful, you'll be able to stand the attack of the enemy. So again, I don't know where you are, what's going on in your life, but I'm going to encourage you to stand firm and understand that God does have your back, regardless of what you think. And maybe, just maybe, like King Ahaz, the thing you worry the most about, God has already told you, it's not going to happen. Think about that today, would you? Until next time, God bless.